Hello everyone, this is my review of set 75375, Millennium Falcon. Now this set has 921 pieces, as you can see right there, and it celebrates the 25th year of LEGO Star Wars. Now on the side of the box, we can see it says Starship Collection, and as we can see, it celebrates this nice uh, 18 plus that we've seen come around in the few recent years. And of course, like all black, except on the bottom, we actually have a strip of silver for that, you know, 25th anniversary. And we actually have a 25th anniversary brick in this, which is very nice. And of course, this costs $85. Now, I am very excited for this mini scale esque set. I don't know why they changed it to Starship Collection, but who knows? Anyway, without further ado, let's get into this set. I'm super hyped for this, and I think it's going to be a blast. Now we're going to go ahead and open this bad boy up. Wait, actually, give me a second. Ah, uh, the great sensation. And there we have our instruction manual. We have some reading, it seems, I've seen at the front. A quick read-up about the Millennium Falcon right there and a right there and then we have this right here the 25th anniversary and yeah that's that then we have this tube for the thrust of the millennium falcon and it seems that we have 11 number bags i think is the max yeah from what from, from what it looks like 11 is the biggest bag and now let's get into that 25th anniversary brick here we have the Millennium Falcon, and I must say, this is a very beautiful model. I am, I really love Han Solo and the Millennium Falcon, and I just gotta say, this is, this is probably my favorite set of the year so far. Now let me show you why. First off, we have a 25 years of LEGO Star Wars brick down here. We also have some nice tiles on the stand down here that says LEGO Star Wars and Millennium Falcon. Now, unlike the mini scale sets that LEGO has released so far this year, and the Executive Star Super Star Destroyer from 2023, this sand, if you notice, is actually has a slight tilt to show that the Millennium Falcon is flying through the air. Now, I think that is really fun and just something unique for this set that is... It just makes it stand out just that tiny bit more. Now, obviously, like, the colors and stuff make it stand out the most, but we'll get into some other stuff. Now, at the front, I think it looks good here, and we have some nice stuff here, which, unfortunately... And, well, I think it's actually good, but weirdly, actually, there's no studs on the front. I'm, I'm not sure when LEGO started putting studs on their Millennium Falcons like this, but, like, I think it looks great. Now, as we move to the side, we'll have these panels that are used for some greebling on the sides of the Millennium Falcon. No, you're not, you're not actually supposed to pull those out, but I'm just showing that they are on a hinge, and that allows them to flow freely. We have the sensor dish on the top of the Millennium Falcon here. We have the airlock with a nice, beautifully printed tile. And we're actually going to take it off the stand now. And you'll see how that's built there. And looking at the top, we can see some nice greebling here. And we have some vents, the, the panels. And we have a big tube for the thrust. Looking on the other side, we have some nice stuff. But the only thing I don't like about this is because that's where the stand goes, we lose the bottom turret. And there are also no, like, landing gear on the set. Like, I didn't expect it to be out, but, like, at least, like, the boxes for them. Like, the retracted landing gear, like, showing it. There's nothing of that in this set. That's probably my biggest gripe about this set. But other than that, looking at the top, it looks great. We have one turret, at least, and you can move that up, and we will see a printed dish under there. And looking at it, so the rest of the Greenling looks great. We have the same airlock tile right there looks great and then right here we have the front of the millennium falcon and that looks this set is so much better than the 2009 set was i think everyone knows that and it's just i i think it really like it really blew it out of the park with this set overall i think for 85 dollars if you're a fan of the millennium falcon or han solo or anything like that i think this is a no-brainer pickup yeah you missed those two details on the bottom but like you don't really see that so like Instead of paying $850 for the big UCS Millennium Falcon, you get $85 and you get this really detailed model that can just fit on your shelf. And I think that's what LEGO's trying to do with these 18 plus sets. They're like small, but really highly detailed. And I gotta say, this is a really beautiful model and definitely worth the price. If you all enjoyed, let me know, hit the like button. And until then, I'm out.